assalamu alaikum class i hope you all are doing fine today i'm making this video so you can understand how can you read a case study and after reading the case study how you are going to identify the use cases um, after identifying the use cases you uh, you next move to the class diagrams and the class diagram lead you to the package diagram and the package diagram okay and the use cases also lead you to the dfd like data flow diagram so these are the four things for this we have to actually read the case study first of all and understand how can we first of all identify the very basic things in your case study which are use cases if we start off i will just suggest you that you're going to read all of the things and you are going to identify the nouns and the verbs that's all. You are going to identify the nouns and the verbs. So if I start reading this and start identifying the nouns, you can just see make make a testing system. Now, obviously, make is a verb, but this is about the whole system. So we are not going to identify it. For a university where teachers. Now, first of all, we can just say that teacher is a noun. So we just identified our first noun. Then we have can register when they say that something is doing with it so i can just say that teacher is a noun and they can actually register themselves so i can just say i'm just going to use the red color for this again because this is going to be related with my first noun so teachers can register themselves and make now make is again a verb which is related to the teacher so Teachers can register and make four types of tests. Now, admin. Admin is another noun. So, I can just say that I just identified another noun, which is noun number two. Will manage the teachers and students. So, it's just like admin is going to manage certain things. Uh, what he's going to manage? He's going to manage teachers. We have already identified the teacher here. So we are not going to identify it again. But yes, we have not identified the student. So right now I'm just going to identify another noun that is student. So that's my third noun. Students. And will also be responsible for making date sheet. Now who is making these date sheets? Uh, the date sheet making is actually right now uh, concerned with the admin all right so we are just saying that this is another word but you have to read it very carefully the next line it says admin will actually give few day slots to the students to get register themselves for a specific test it simply means that when we say that admin is making the date sheet we mean that admin is going to allocate or uh, uh, specify a certain days in which the student can pick and get registered himself for a specific test so that means that date sheet making is also a verb related to the admin and it's also a verb related to the student as well so here uh, it just says that when we are saying the giving a few day slots is also part of making the date sheet so we can actually name it something better rather than making the date sheet after that uh, we we just know that students can get registered themselves for specific tests well obviously students are going to get registered so this getting registered either we do it here or we do it here it th this is the verb related to the student and i'm using the yellow color for that now it says students can get registered in in, in test on specific date, it means the same thing I told you that admin is going to tell about a certain dates and student can actually pick from those dates. For required subject, it means student can actually select a subject. All right. So when they are going to do this, they are actually selecting something. Students can also select a tutor for the test. It simply means that this select process is actually a verb which is going to be used for subject. It's going to be used for date and it's going to be used for teacher. It means a student is going to select a lot of things. After that, we can just see that there is something else as well. It just says that teachers will be auto uh, tests will be automatically checked by the system. Now, when we say something is done by the system 
So it means system is also a noun which is performing something. You know, actually, when we are actually identifying the nouns, we are identifying the actors. Result will be displayed on profiles of students. They will also receive an email and SMS as well. When something is going to be automatically checked, now checked is a verb. This verb is related with the system. Results will be displayed. Now, this is again a verb and because this is done automatically, the displaying is automatic as well. And they will receive email and SMS as well. If students are going to receive the email, someone is going to send the email. It means there is another uh, process or function as well, which is going to be the sending email and sending the SMS. Now, this is related with the system and receive receiving the result is related with the student. So we can just say that this receive is going to be a verb with students and the sending is going to be the verb with system. After identifying all the verbs and the nouns, we are just going to write down the nouns and verbs in front of each other and that's going to help us understand the things better. Now here you can see that I have actually uh, written down the nouns or the actors and in front of them I have wrote the verbs functions or use cases in front of everything so you can see that uh, we actually saw that teachers are able to get registered or make the test or save the answers after that admin was able to manage the profiles now in manage the profiles you can actually say the approve the registration and other things as well. So, we can write it here that it is approved registrations or any such things. Now, here admin is basically managing the profiles like approving the registrations for students and for teachers. Um, admin can also allocate the dates for the tests. Like it's going to just tell how, much, how many dates are available there and everything like that. Then after that, the students can get registered it's the same as for teacher. They can get registered, then they can select a subject, then a teacher for the subject and the date for the test. They can only pick from the dates which are actually given by the admin. They can only pick from those dates. The system is going to then check the test, make the result and send the email and SMS to the uh, students. Now here, another thing is that whenever the teacher and students are going to get registered, they will have an option to manage their profile as well. They can manage their profiles. But here I want you to understand one very simple thing is that you are just, you're not supposed to inspect the system that how good it could be, how bad it could be, how things could be added or how things could be removed. You are just going to uh, see what is given you in this case study and you are just supposed to uh, solve that. And that's all. You're not going to add anything of your own idea on what you think that this could be the part of the system. It could work like that. It could work like not that. So that's why you don't need to do this. You're just supposed to write down however you feel like the things are going to work. The bare minimum like what the necessary things you're just going to add the necessary things now if these are the use cases if we have identified these use cases after that we can actually make the diagram for the use cases so now we are just going to make the diagram for the same use cases 